So do you practice line graphs? We're going to look at question number three. We've already done one and two, where we have gone through the details of the, what the data presented is. So if you have not seen one and two, probably worth seeing that or going through that before we come here. Right? Which years are the highest percentage growth in revenues overall? Right, for question number one and two, we've already done two of the years. Of the eight years, four have been provided. We've done two more. Only two are missing, just 2009 and 2014, 2015, sorry. So we know the 2009 growth rate. We know the 2008 revenues. So we can find 2009 revenues for each division. So we can find each of these values from the revenue number given in one chart and the revenue growth rate number given in the other chart. We've already seen this. 2014 revenues have been given, 2015 growth rates have been given. We can find this as well. So now we've got the entire grid, the whole table, 2008 to 15, all the revenue numbers. So we can find all the totals and we can find the growth rates. The, the growth rate in 2009 is 18%, which is far, which is higher than any of these. So the maximum growth rate, the year that saw the maximum growth rate was 2009. Simple enough question once you fill in all the data. Then why are we discussing this? Because there could possibly be a way where we don't need to do all this. Fine. So just scan the growth rate chart. 2009 growth rates are here, 10 numbers are here, 11, 12, 13, 14. The nine numbers are off the charts. Pharma number is off the chart. All four have seen growth. And compared to 2010, from 9 to 10, 10 has also has seen good numbers. From 9 to 10, this is a reasonably sharp fall. This is flat to slightly up. This is down, this is down. Every other year, no other year even comes close. This is a huge number, way big outlier. Every, all four have grown, and reasonably high growth rates as well. So if you look at 2009 and 10, you can already sense that the answer has to be between 9 and 10, and within that, 2009 is better. So we, didn't, we need not have done any numbers for this question. Luckily enough, question numbers 1 and 2 gave us two of the columns. So question number 3, we had to fill only two more columns and find the growth rate. So it's easily doable. But if you had been given this question as the first question in this set, where you're not given much else, you can you scan this and take a chance? So practically, you're not taking a chance. 2009 is off the chart, significantly higher than, 2000, yeah, than everything else. The only thing that comes close is 2010. And we can see clearly the 2009 number is going to be greater than 2010 numbers as a percentage growth rate number goes. So you can do this question without actually computing the data. And that sense, that idea, that is very vital. Hang on to that. Every time you see uh, uh, overwhelming amounts of data and you get a question, you can look at it and say, perhaps I can do this without, without actually computing. If you can, go for that. DI is about having that sense of, of scanning the data and saying, look, this number looks funny. This is where the maximum growth rate should have been. Bam, I'm going to go for that. So build that sense. Don't get carried away with just the number filling part.